This summer, I moved to a small town called Strasburg, Colorado. It's 41 miles east of Denver. I love the open space, the friendly residents, and the quiet. Recently, I've also discovered a love of its history, too. Many people were taught in history class about the Golden Spike Ceremony in Utah on May 10, 1869, which was commemorated by the joining of the Eastern United States with the West via the first transcontinental railroad. But there's an important catch. This transcontinental railroad formed by the Union Pacific and Central Pacific had a gap in Omaha. There were no railroad bridges that crossed the Missouri River at the time. Instead, passengers and cargo had to disembark their train, board a ferry, cross the Missouri River, and reboard the train on the other side. At this point in history, the ferry was considered a part of the railroad system, which allowed the Union Pacific and Central Pacific to claim they had completed the first transcontinental railway. Many believe this was a political ploy on the part of President Ulysses Grant. Grant had just taken office months before and wanted to kick off his term with the Transcontinental Railroad on his record. On August 15, 1870, a major historic event took place that received next to no media coverage. In Comanche Crossing, which is now called Strasburg, the Strasburg and Kansas Pacific Railroads laid ten and a quarter miles of track in a record-breaking nine hours to complete the first transcontinental railway, making it possible at last to board a train in New York and travel all the way to San Francisco without deboarding right in the middle. <laughs>